the brides today are going green for three main reasons. First, everyone has become more aware of the environmental issues out there. There's also the monetary aspect of going green. So I found that across the board, you can save about 40% off the cost of your wedding by making green choices. And finally, there's this sort of spiritual piece of it. You can start with your, your save the date. We have actually folks that are utilizing Facebook and Twitter as a way to do save the dates instead of actually sending a piece of paper out. With invitations, the easiest way is to use recycled paper. If you just make the change to recycled paper, you're going to make a huge impact. It can still be fine and elegant. All of our cards are embedded with seeds. They're handmade paper, and when you plant them, they will actually grow and turn into a lovely little bouquet. There are actually a lot of ways to have an eco-friendly gown. The easiest way is to buy it once worn. But you can also get a dress that's made from an environmentally friendly material, like organic cotton, or hemp, or hemp silk blend. No matter what kind of dress you get, you can donate it after the wedding. For flowers and food, I always just say, go local, go seasonal. Many times, you know, buying organic vegetables and uh, free ranch chicken or veal is more expensive, so that just comes with it. But I really believe it's well worth it, you know. Just like if you want to buy Mercedes, it's a little more expensive than a Chevrolet. But at the end, people buy it because they believe they get their money's worth. An organic wedding cake is one of the easiest things to do. You just ask your baker to use organic flour, local eggs, organic milk, so it's just really simple substitutions. The biggest trend right now is LED lighting. You need very little power, so it's very green. To do eco-friendly favors, a lot of people do a donation to charity in lieu of gifts, but if you actually want a physical favor, a small soy candle is a really nice gift, anything that can be reused. Weddings have a very large carbon footprint because you have people flying in often from overseas, across the country. There are really great carbon offsetting programs. I like Brighter Planet, you can use TerraPass, there are about 25 of these companies that are planting trees or producing offsets in other ways. like investing in new and alternative energies. Utilizing a shuttle service to get your guests to and from the ceremony and reception site instead of driving in everyone's car will reduce the, the carbon footprint. It does matter where our dollars go. It does matter how we affect the environment, other people, other economies. My view is small steps, small changes, little things. You have to make all of the choices anyway. So if you just think about the impact of those choices as you go and look for the green alternatives that are out there, it's really easy.